Hi all, uh, this is Mike here. In today's video, I'm going to bring to you guys the um, ways to actually uh, flash the uh, Nexus 4 back to stock factory image. And um, it's basically useful for those who is like me. I'm keeping this phone as my collection. So if you want it to be in the stock mode or stock settings for everything, then you can actually flash the phone back to uh, stock factory image. But if you are looking at using it as a daily driver, then of course it would be better for you to flash the HOS, which is what the uh, phone is in currently. And um, that would be a more usable uh, options for you if you are doing it uh, and using it for a daily, daily driver. Uh, I have another video on that, so you can refer to that video uh, to see how you want to flash the HOS back to uh, into the Nexus 4 itself. So for this video, we'll be doing uh, we'll keep looking at how to flash stock factory image to the Nexus 4. And before I proceed with that, I just want to bring up um, and it, the, one of the uh, bumper case that I get for Nexus 4. This is the uh, bumper case. It's the original Nexus 4 bumper case from LG. I think this is made in Korea itself. It, it's, it's, um, it's not something fancy or anything, but if you want to protect your phone from any harms and stuff, uh, this bumper case seems to be a pretty good option, right? If you look at it, um, it seems to be a pretty good option for you. If you want to, you can just press that in and you're all done and it's all well protected to the sides and stuff and basically now this bumper case is not like super pricey or anything it's pretty cheap where you can get it for and you have like metal looking bands at the side which is pretty good if you want I'll leave a link down below and you guys can get it uh, if you are still using this phone or you have this phone in your collection and you want some protective layer onto it and since it's original so it's uh, not a bad thing so before we start, of course, end of the day, if you need to connect to it, you need to make sure that you enable USB debugging. So what you can do is you go on the build, build number. Let's just take a look at build number here and just tap, 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 tap and you are on. The, the options are available. So once you have the VAP options available, what you need to do is just to <coughs> enable uh, USB debugging, Android debugging here. So just enable it, press on OK, and we are all ready. So, other than, other than that, all the other steps will be on the phone, uh, on the PC itself. So let's just get on with it. Uh, so once you have your device connected to the PC, what you can do is do ADV devices to ensure the device is connected. So once all that is ready, you can do ADV reboot, boot loader to boot uh, the device in the fast boot mode. Okay, once your Nexus 4 is unlocked and um, you are in fast boot mode, so the next thing that you do is to do a fast boot devices to ensure the device is connected. So once the device is connected, you can navigate to the folders of your Google Stock Factory image, which this one is OCam. So just ensure you extract it out. And if you can see now, what you need to do is just to do a flash all dot that, which is pretty simple. So just do a flash all dot that and just wait for the process to finish and you are back to stock factory image okay so once you see this um, we are done flashing the uh, ROM itself so just we basically now move on to the phone for the rest of the setup <clears throat> okay the nut phone is now booted up for the first time normally it'll take a while we will just need to wait for the boot up to complete okay finally it's booted up um the process the process takes quite, quite a while so if you are actually flashing back to stop so please make sure you wait out i think it's close to 10 minutes you know the wait time so you can skip this you can skip this skip anyway adjust as needed so we'll just do a jmt plus eight Thanks. And we're all done. So this stock behavior, if you take a look at it, um, it's running my Android 5.1.1. You don't even have the patches kind of like, uh, it's really patches kind of date. So this is like pretty old stock ROM. So this is good if you are looking at keeping this as your 
collection and you want everything in stock mode then it's good to flash this back if you are using this a uh, daily driver it will be advisable if you actually go for lineage os because that is more up to date and the security patches is more up to date right so um so yeah that's all i have for today so guys if you like the video i'm doing please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel for any future updates i uh, hope to see you again soon bye